In this video, we're going to look at how to divide web pages up. You may notice that there are some differences now between the previous view of our Stegosaurus page and what appears here on the left. I've slightly changed the page so that it's now about prehistoric animals. I've using my list, which I created in the previous video, so that the Stegosaurus is one of them, and then there's the T-Rex, Pterodactyl, and Spinosaurus. You can imagine this being a sort of navigation pane. I've still got my picture of the Stegosaurus, and the name Stegosaurus, and the two paragraphs down here. What's interesting now is that I have used the div tag here to put a wrapper around the whole of the page. So I've got my body here, and then I've used a wrapper the div tag using id equals wrapper to wrap the whole of the page up and right at the bottom i've done end div inside that i hope you can now see that i've put this pair of div tags so i've got a header which is prehistoric animals i've got another div which has the id navbar that's for this little section here then I've got ID equals content. I've got my image, my heading, and all the rest of the text. And that ends with the div tag there. Note that this div tag here is the one from the wrapper. When I save that and update the page, inevitably you see no difference because I haven't yet applied anything to those individual tags but i've set the base for being able now to divide my page up and put different elements on the of the page in different positions <laughs> 